Alright, here's a demonstration on how to create a sheet metal cylinder. Let's begin by creating a sketch on the front plane and I'll just draw a center point arc roughly 180 degrees. I'll come back in and use a horizontal sketch relation. Specify the radius, 3 inches. And now from our sheet metal features we'll choose the base flange option. Here I can drag out the length of my flange. I'll let it be 6 inches and then I can specify my sheet metal parameters. 0.06 and the bend radius is immaterial. OK that feature. Now we have our rolled sheet metal base flange. And if I check from my feature, uh, sheet metal features I can generate the flat pattern. So that works, no problem. But what if we wanted, say, uh, some circular cutouts or holes or something like that that would be normally defined in the flat pattern? Well, the way we can deal with that is by inserting an unfold feature. With the unfold feature, this is a time-dependent fold operation where we'll go in and say, all right, keep this edge fixed, but unfold our bend, leaving us with a flat piece, which we can now go in and sketch in the flat view and I can draw any desired shape. I can dimension to, ex to the existing flat model edges. And then let's just insert a cut. Make sure that you specify a link to thickness and that the normal cut is op operation is, is specified whenever you're cutting into sheet metal. Now notice in the feature manager tree, we have our sheet metal feature, we have our base flange, then we have an unfold feature, and then our cut extrude. So the cut extrude is happening after the part was temporarily unfolded. What we need to do next is just simply choose the fold feature to get ourselves back out of the temporary flat state. Just hit the collect all bends option, and now our part rolls back up. And we can see now that our cutout stretches as it would normally stretch even though the profile was defined in the flat view and that doesn't affect our flat pattern at all the flat pattern is always the last feature in a SOLIDWORKS sheet metal part and we can verify if we go to our flat pattern view that we do indeed have a valid flat pattern so begin your rolled sheet metal parts by designing them in the rolled state and then just use the, the unfold and fold features to build in any features that would normally be defined with respect to the flattened state. 